So this is my very first junk journal, um, and the theme is Art Nouveau, which is actually one of my very favorite uh, designs and styles of art. It was um, around the time, like around the 1890s to the 1920s of time, and mostly William Morris and Alphonse Mucha, uh, Rennie McIntosh, those are some of the primary artists of the time. And so I just love that style. It's very organic. And then you'll see, you're probably also familiar with Art Deco, which came in right around the transition between Art Nouveau, came right after that. So that has more of a very angular style and a very 1920s. You've seen that style in that era. But Art Nouveau was actually before that. And uh, lots of swirling lines, vines, um, all different types of um, botanicals were part of the Art Nouveau style. So this kind of features some of that and the, uh, the journal features a lot of art from that time and different artists depictions, advertisements, things like that. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have a lot of things in here from Alphonse Mucha, and this is one of his designs here. He did lots of advertising in the era, and uh, this is actually features, maybe I should go to the front piece. So this features somebody named Fanny Brooks, and this is her journal. So this is kind of a depiction of who she was, supposedly. <laughs> and so um, these are some things that she's collected. And here's a menu, small little menu of a restaurant. Here is a vellum piece that I printed. So a little hard to do with one hand. <laughs> so here's a receipt. Okay, here's another art piece here. That's a little tuck spot. of an advertisement into a journal card and then this is a little flip out that I made it has a little pocket here this is an actual picture of a door of an Art Nouveau style and uh, it's Tiffany who did the stained glass chandeliers he was very popular at this time as well. So I don't know if that's actually Tiffany, but uh, I put some stained glass pictures in here. There's another Alfonso Mucha uh, little card. He, he also did theater designs and posters. And this is a little book that I made to stick in here. So just a little book to write in. It's just blank at the moment. And this was a very popular book at the time, apparently. And I was going to try and reproduce the book, but I kind of got bogged down with that. And I thought, I'm just going to make a little notebook. So that's what I did. And I aged this so it looks a little bit like leather. I put Mod Podge on it. And then this, the Gibson Girl was also very popular at this time. So here are some drawings of some Gibson Girls. So, and then, of course, here is... The owner of the journal. <laughs> so here's the little tuck spot here that I made. So a um, little bit of art there. Here's the little envelope in the style. Here's another vellum piece that I printed out here. Here's another little tuck spot here. Here. Here's a, um, I did a lot of digital stamping through the book and so something that either somebody could like color or something like that um, and I coffee stained all most of the pages so you'll see that aging on here so but this is Alphonse Mucha um, 
here's a little tuck spot here and I did some Art Nouveau designs there's little cards here so some seeds an old seed catalog cover another Alphonse Mucha picture it's a digital stamp and then there's a lot of this art throughout here and I'm trying to think of the name of the artist who did this. I think it's something like Villavu, something like that. Anyway, so you'll see a lot of that through here. Here is a page for some journaling. I didn't leave a whole lot of that, but I did leave some for writing in. Of course, this is an Edith Holden picture. And this was also, she was during this time. And I just love her sketches. So here's a collage of some Mucha posters and pictures that he did and here is a little tuck spot I'd made out of vellum so this is actually a William Morris this is a um, a piece that he did he started it's like the beginnings his beginning sketches for an actual piece that I was able to find and I printed on vellum so and then here is another a uh, little envelope here and another little um, piece of art here. Maybe some journal cards. Uh, here's another kind of a collage behind here. And then here is some art of the time. And this is, do I have something on the back? Oh, okay, right. Here's another um, Alphonse Mucha here that he did. He could see he used a lot of circles around women, things like that, uh, crescent moons. Tuck spot there. Here's a plate I found of artwork that somebody had done and of, of jewelry items and, and pieces to put on somebody's dresser. I believe it's also a mucha that he was working on for advertising. And I just love all of the detail here. Of these and I put a little bit of a little thing there behind the mirror <laughs> so this is one of the things I don't really care about the um, journal is that I didn't leave my um, my signature uh, sewing here long enough I didn't realize this is my first journal so I didn't really quite realize how long that should be but this is just a couple little charms here here's also another Gibson girl that I put on a page and here's another artwork by Mucha. Here's the other part of that pocket from the William Moore sketch. And here is another one of his art pieces here. So, and a digital stamp behind that I put on the page. Uh, now this is, uh, well, let me, skipped a little bit, I guess, here. Uh, here's another collage. And I love this little piece here this little woman here standing and here's some other advertisements and things uh, the other side of the Edith Holden page here's a really cool piece of digital stamping that I did and a little tab and then here's some more of that artwork of the collage of the different organic pieces that they loved um, here's an advertisement it's just mostly a a sketch of uh, an ad that Mucha did. I think it's for Coco. <laughs> now this is William Morris here. So that was one of his pieces. And I just love that. And when I did this, I found these this really cool little digital stamp. So I actually cut it out, made it into a window. Put some acetate behind that. And I found this Art Nouveau image. So that if you, no matter how you turn it, you can see what's behind it. So it shows that, and then if you flip here, you see the William Morris through there. And this is the Four Seasons here. Um, here's some more of that um, organic collaging. And these are a couple of Mucha pictures I had on the washi tape. Um, here's some more digital stamping I did. Another Alphonse Mucha. And another collage here. Um, here is part of that, the other side of that um, receipt that I put out on vellum, printed on vellum. 
And this is part of one of those collages that I actually cut out. It's a vase. And I put this die cut in here. It's a, um, oh, I'm moving out the phone around too much. This little die cut here, a little vine. And then this is uh, like a little bee with a flower. I put behind that. It's a little tuck spot there. And here's another pocket that I made out of one of those collages here. And then this is some art, so some theater art that I stuck behind here. I think I made them into like bookmarks. Yeah, so there's, ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> some little bookmarks I made. There, um, here's some more of that organic collaging. Another digital stamp that I put. And this is a picture of an actual hotel that I believe still exists in Paris, but this was a gorgeous Art Nouveau. Um, you've probably seen this before in magazines and things. Uh, but this was definitely the Art Nouveau design. You can see the scrolling here and just the real, uh, the movement of the lines here in this hotel. Um, I think it's just part of the staircase. This probably goes down to the lobby here. That's a beautiful thing. And then here's another Alphonse Mucha. And this is a piece of art of the time. They really loved like the Grecian look. Um, so they have, you know, a lot of flowing robes, things like that. You'll see that when they have pictures of people doing theater and plays, even like amateur plays, they had a lot of this look of the Grecian. That was really popular then. Another Mucha. Here's another Edith Holden page. And more of that organic collaging. And this is actually 20s. This was a cool little Cinderella card here of Charles Perrault, the original um, author of Cinderella, illustrated by Roberto Innocenti. And I just love the way this had, was done. I hadn't seen this picture before. But it shows Cinderella looking in the water and imagining herself. So I thought that was cool. This is a real Art Nouveau <clears throat> image here. And then this. And then I also took a piece of that digital collaging and I cut this out. I made it into a little pocket. And I put some things back in here. So this is Mucha here. I believe it's Sarah Bernhard. And um, so Sarah Bernhard commissioned him to do some theater posters for her. And she loved what he did so much that he was pretty much her exclusive artist for all of her theater. So this is from one of her operas. She was a very famous opera singer back at the turn of the century. Here's a little Art Nouveau postcard. Curiosity. So I had that tucked back here. I think actually I have a couple of yeah, more things that sort of fell behind. So, sorry, I hope I'm not moving the camera too much. I'm just, I need a stabilizer. So, a little postcard here, more art here. See very much the way that they did their organic designs. So, I just love that. So you'll see a little bit more of Sarah Bernhardt's pictures in here. I don't have a whole lot, but I do have a few that I made into small cards. Uh, here's another frame that'd be fun to journal in. This is a piece of art from the time. You can see the flowing Grecian urn, uh, robes and things. Um, I'm not afraid. I'm not sure who did this. Um, another Alphonse Mucha digital stamp. Here's some more of that collaging. I just love this with. The lilies and things and as you can see I used it here in the front here on this little tuck spot so I just cut this out here but this was the whole image here and then these are some plates that uh, I believe this was Mucha uh, this was part of his sketching and I just love the way he did these different plates and what he was designing for different art pieces and he also did um, I believe he did some furniture, but he did a lot of jewelry and lamps and things like that as well, besides just um, like 
advertising and things. And then here is another little, um, our short little <laughs> uh, charms and things I put in the middle. I'm afraid I'm not a jewelry designer, but I had fun doing that. And next time I will make my strings longer so they can hang below the journal. I didn't know to do that. Um, here's another beautiful piece here. Is that organic? Collaging another Mucha stamp. And I love this piece of art. I'm not sure if this is Raphael. I'm sure I don't know who this is. I probably should have researched that first. Uh, here's another digital stamp. And here's another piece that I made into a pocket. So this is some art I thought was really cool. And then this is a photo of a woman in Art Nouveau headdress. So, uh, so when you think about if you ever watched Star Wars and Princess Leia, I believe that's what they copied her headdress from. And even Padme was the Art Nouveau design. So that's where they got that look. So, um, and then I have this little tuck spot in here. Some stained glass and artwork here. Um, and an ad, and then another lady there, and then another digital stamp, more of this collage here, here's another Edith Holden page, of this little bird here, more Mucha stamping, here's another piece of art too, I just love this, the blues in the picture and everything, and then here's another little tuck spot I made, and another Mucha stamp behind. So here's some other pieces here. So, sorry, I think I'm moving this camera around too much. Hopefully I'm not getting dizzy. Um, this is a, um, this is such a cool living room. I just love this. And you can see what the furniture and the decor was like for people who really went into this style. I love the inlaid wood here on the floor and this fireplace is just amazing and this piece here this bookcase on the side is so cool you can kind of see where Tolkien got some of his um, uh, just his look for the elves when you look at Lord of the Rings and just kind of the design some of that he lived during this time as well of course so I know that he took a lot of his ideas for elvish design from this period so I just think it's so awesome and then here's another little stained glass pocket here and some more uh, little cards here another digital stamp that was really cool <sighs> more of this collaging here's another plate that Mucha worked on here plate here. You can see where it's starting to get into the art deco design here with the sharp angles but still having the organic look inside. Here's another Mucha ad. And here's some more of that collage. Put a few little metal pieces in here to give more embellishment. Here's again more of that um, William Morris sketch that I made into a pocket. And this is a cover of a little book at the time. And another piece of art. And then another digital stamp. So it's kind of behind there. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Here's a menu that uh, Fanny Brooks saved from a place she went to, the Grand Hotel. Here's another piece of art here. I just love this, this lady. You can see the parade going on behind her on the other side of this wall. With the, You can see it's a very Grecian or Roman situation where there's uh, statues and stuff. And here's this parade or party going by here, and she's exhausted. <laughs> she's just sitting there on the marble, just uh, tired from reveling. So there's her tambourine. I thought that was really cool. Another Mucha. Stamp here, more of this collaging, and then here's the little pocket I made, and another digital stand, and some more art, 
uh, the other side of the Edith Holden page. I love this here. It's so pretty. Uh, another Mucha. This is a piece of art. Uh, says I believe it says Walter Goebel. He designed this. I love this. And um, this is a journal page behind her to write on. But I tucked in some little pieces here. This is a Mucha advertisement. Love this lady. Flowers. Uh, this is some gold vellum that I have that I printed out this little book here. It's like a little page of a book. And the other side is further in the signature. I thought that was really cool, this writing. So, another Mucha stamp. And here is some more that I made into a, a pocket. And then this actually. <laughs> It's kind of part of this. You can see how it looked. If you turn it this way, you can see it's just kind of a reproduction of that page. So here's some more Art Nouveau. And then this is actually Rennie McIntosh. And he was a very popular artist. He actually built this whole house and designed all the furniture and the windows. Everything is gorgeous. Um with this kind of a style here. he ha He's the one that had these chairs with the really tall skinny backs. So you can see how that's kind of depicted in the scarf. But he had the most amazing furniture. Very unique. I loved his work. Lenny McIntosh. His wife Margaret actually was maybe even more popular than him. I don't have any things of hers. But she had these roses that she, these square roses that she put on everything. Uh, here's some more Mucha. It's another collage of his work. And I love this frame. Here's another piece of art from that period. And another piece here. And then this is a little pocket I made. Uh, this is a cover of a magazine that Mucha designed. The Bloom. Uh, and then I put these little things here again little charms and things in the middle of the signature okay and should be missing here there we go i love this beautiful frame here so there's a little place for journaling there and then there's this the rest of the collage and the little tuck spot here so, with this little flower garden here in the city. <laughs> okay. okay, and then here is a gorgeous another plate of Mujas. Love the way he just has all these flowers and the way he designs them. This is the little card that I made into a pocket. There's some journaling space behind here. And here is another Sarah Bernhard poster. These really are small, but you can kind of see how she just loved his work. So this is a poster from her opera Gizmonda. And uh, so this is her dressed in her finery for this opera. So cool. Okay, another Mucha stamp. Here's the other side of that little book page I printed out. Here's, here is a page for journaling. <laughs> and this is also a digital stamp by Mucha. So he was Slavic and he tried to promote the Slavic people. He, uh, this was uh, a piece from that, from his work there. And it was really amazing. He did this huge, huge art thing where I believe it was um, several rooms in a building in a museum where he did all these paintings and everything depicting the history of the Slavic people. It was really, really cool. So that's from that. Here's another Edith Holden. Here's another digital stamp here. And this is also by Mucha here. And I love peacocks, so I stuck these little, little stickers back here to use. Here's more of the collaging. Another Mucha here. Here's another piece of art. I love this. I love her ribbons in her hair. Flowers, really cool. Uh, here is the rest of that 
menu in the Grand Hotel. Here's more of that. Here's another piece of art. And ah, more collaging here. The other side of that Mucha journal page. More of his um, plates that he drew. And then um, when I put in the signatures, this I use this linen. I think it's like maybe way too heavy. <laughs> But anyway, live and learn, right? Um, here's a photo. Actually, this is more recent of this woman in Art Nouveau headdress. I just love that. That was so cool. And then this is a piece of art of a woman in a similar type of headdress. See the real Grecian influence there. And then this is a advertisement. He also did travel posters. So this is a Mucha travel poster from Monte Carlo. And then I saved these end papers. I I kind of wanted to save that page. It's probably not really done, but I, this is the actual end papers of the book that I made or that I reused. And these are some little book covers. So and I love this little, I love the uh, type, typography here. Everything. I thought that was really cool. So these are little miniature book covers that I made into journal cards. And then here's the last one. Here is another Mucha tuck spot that I made. Here is a cute little picture. And here is another calendar, actually, cover that he did. So, and that's it. So, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching this video. Sorry, it's kind of here, there, and everywhere. So, but I hope you have a good day. Thanks.